everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. There is airplane flying. Leaving camp trails. Now that's another good subject for another video. Today I went down to Georgia. But I wasn't looking for a soul to steal. I just got me some cargo here these pipes and I'm heading over to Ohio I'm right now in South Carolina in one of the rest areas so peaceful and beautiful here you can hear some crickets sun is setting down it's really beautiful peaceful evening it was a hot day today it was in the 70s Anyway, in this video, I want to talk about something that just entered my mind today and I wanted to share with you. We all know what's going on at the Polish border. Crap is hitting the fan. And as most of us probably agree, it's just a distraction. A distraction so you pay attention to that and disregard bigger things and uh, even Latvia is trying to bark and raise its voice as it's it if it's even matter you know but anyway all that aside I want to talk about East Coast as I'm driving up and down the East Coast here, you know, I can't help but think of possible East Coast distraction. And a um, couple of weeks ago, I made a video about Edgar Casey's prediction about East Coast would get destroyed. And I recommend you watching the video. I'll leave. I'll leave the link in the description and um, let's wait, wait for this truck to pass by. Of course, in that video I mentioned uh, Illuminati card game, which also one of the cards shows big wave over the skyscrapers, which basically is telling us if you were, if you were to believe that that there would be a tsunami and um, of course there is La Palma the volcano that's been troubling the news for the past couple of months give or take and uh, Many people, you know, think it's just no big deal. It's just gonna calm down and everything will go back to normal. Some people think that it will, in fact, split the island in half if it has really hard uh, eruption, like pretty much like St. Helens did. You know, when it erupted, half of the mountain was blown away and they're afraid if that happens there it might split the island in half and of course that would create tsunami which would go and completely destroy east coast of united states and here is what came to my mind i thought what if somebody would or could help that volcano could be russia could be china could be even north korea whoever whoever has nuclear bombs they could help that volcano and you might ask how very easily 
drop a nuclear bomb right into volcano and blame all on volcano the volcano is active right now the volcano is uh, getting worse there's earthquakes on a daily basis lots of them so uh, it doesn't take rocket scientists to see that if you drop a nuke right into the crater of volcano on a nice cloudy night when it's really thick clouds so nobody would see it and um, that nuclear bomb would explode probably split that island in half or split the volcano and then island in half and create that big tsunami just a thought you know i hope it doesn't happen most likely it won't happen but it sure could happen and the reason why i thought about it is because one time i heard uh, i heard one russian general saying that all they need to do is drop a nuke on a yellowstone and it would be over because that would wake up yellowstone and obviously if yellowstone erupts a good portion of us would be screwed if not the whole country if not half of the world you know and of course i don't know if that's true or not uh, i don't know if it's just a theory but i heard the theory so as i was driving on the east coast you know i thought you know what i remembered possible east coast destruction and everything came to my mind and i thought you know what if what if somebody drops a nuke in the volcano anyway whether that happens or not whether um whether um, it could do it on its own too we need to be ready you know i hope i won't be on the east coast when when the some kind of destructive force will come over here when something like that happens i want to be home as close as possible to my family anyway all i need to do is just hope and pray you know and prepare and have a plan and i advise that everyone does that you know prepare and have a plan if you live on the east coast especially what are you gonna do if that wave comes whether it's natural or whether it's artificial there's some bats flying around already what a peaceful night i'm loving it anyway thanks for watching everybody give this video a thumbs up and um, i'll see you in the next upload subscribe if you haven't take care